she with you? I thought she was with you. <sighs> okay. Oh, this guy is such a tool bag. There seems to be a weird competition going on in Hollywood, where the prize is seeing who can churn out the worst movie and loose the most cash in the process. Bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see how that plays out. First up, we've got Disney dropping that unholy mess called The Acolyte. It was so bad, they scrapped the second season faster than you could say dumpster fire, but not before flushing $180 million down the drain. Bravo, Disney. Not to be outdone, Amazon comes charging back with the second season of that Rings of Power abomination. Now, considering the first season was about as well-received as food poisoning, you'd think they'd reconsider. But no, they're doubling down. Real gutsy move there, Amazon. Apparently, you have not seen what we have seen in that first season. Then, just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, Warner Bros. struts in, thinking, hold my beer. Because why sit quietly on the sidelines when you can release a teaser for the Minecraft movie and aim for the crown of cinematic disasters? For those of you who don't know, Minecraft is one of the best-selling games on the planet. You can build anything limited only by your imagination, something Hollywood Studios clearly ran out of years ago. After the Super Mario movie made over $1 billion at the box office, it was inevitable they would try to milk Minecraft for all it's worth as well. Considering that the game sold over 300 million copies, it was clear they will try to milk this for every penny. These studios are about as subtle as a brick through a window when it comes to chasing a profit. And hey, if they actually gave us something decent, the fans would show up, the studios would get rich, and everyone would be happy, right? Well, not quite. Enter the Minecraft movie trailer, which has already reached one million dislikes in just two days. Sure, half a million people liked it too, but let's be honest, that dislike bar is only going one direction from here. And after watching that trailer, you'll understand why. The CGI is a joke, the costumes look like they were thrown together at a Halloween clearance sale, and the casting choices well, let's just say they're as questionable as the idea of making this movie in the first place. Nothing about this screams Minecraft. If you didn't know better, you'd think you were watching the behind-the-scenes footage of a straight-to-DVD knockoff. This is a game mostly played by kids, and their genius plan was to slap Jason Momoa in a wig and a pink jacket, probably hoping he'll appeal to soccer moms or something, but it only ends up looking pathetic. It's sad to see how an actor like him has fallen, from the mighty Cal Drogo or the buff Aquaman, to this caricature of a character who seems to look offended that someone did not use the correct pronouns on him. But hey, maybe that's just what you get in Hollywood these days. If you're a tall, jacked, white dude, you're pretty much guaranteed to be humiliated on screen. We've seen it before, right? John Cena parading around naked at the Oscars, and even James Bond himself, Daniel Craig, forced to put on a dress, wig, and heels for a sketch. It's like some bizarre initiation ritual at this point. Are you a white muscular man and want to work in Hollywood? Better be prepared to kiss your dignity goodbye. But the rest of the cast for this Minecraft movie is not getting better we have a diverse body positivity woman who most likely will also be a lesbian because, you know, representation or whatever. Then, there are two young actors, presumably to appeal to all the kiddies who might actually want to watch this train wreck. And of course, Jack Black is back, playing Jack Black. Sure, his goofy humor might work for kids, but let's be real, he's been overused to the point of cringe. The more they cast him, the less funny he gets. Remember that classic South Park line, put a chick in it and make it lame and gay? Well, now we can add, stick Jack Black in it and make it cringe and unfunny. And you just know this whole thing is designed for modern audiences. You can practically hear the lapdog media rushing to defend it already. Kotaku's out here, 
telling us that this movie is not made for us. You know, the real fans. Bold strategy, huh? Because every time they've tried this, it's worked out so well, hasn't it? The movie bombs, and yet somehow, it's always our fault, the fans, who they told the movie wasn't made for in the first place. Meanwhile, Forbes is playing it cool, trying to release a less aggressive take. But let's be honest, if Jack here would have been black, the headlines would be a whole lot different. So this Minecraft movie's rolling in with a $150 million budget, and Forbes, ever the optimists, think it's going to hit $1 billion. Why? Well, because apparently kids who play the game will drag their poor parents to the theater. And sure, in some alternate universe where Barbie or Super Mario logic applies, that might happen. But let's be real for a second and look at the trailer. Nothing here says Minecraft. Not the costumes, not the bland characters, not even the token body-positive diverse woman or Jack Black phoning it in. It's just another generic flick with cheap CGI and a cast that looks as interested as a brick wall. If Warner Bros. had any sense, they'd hit the brakes, fire the cast, and do the only thing that might save this sinking ship. Make it animated. Look at Songs of War. Now that's how you do a Minecraft series. But no, they're clinging to the hope of that one billion payday. The problem is that the more you watch the trailer, the worse it gets. And social media is already tearing it apart. Even parents and Minecraft fans are coming out in droves saying this thing looks like a steaming pile of shit. They've slated the movie for an April 2025 release, but let's be honest, it's already starting off on the wrong foot. Maybe the next trailers will drum up some hype, but right now, it's looking like yet another Warner Bros. disaster waiting to happen. Whether it will be worse than the Acolyte or Rings of Power, we will see. But if their lapdog media shills will continue to attack the fans, you'll know where this is headed. Hollywood loves to play the racist and bigot card whenever their latest turd is about to bomb. If that happens here, you can kiss those $150 million goodbye. Another opportunity squandered. Another studio flushing money down the drain instead of just giving us a good movie. Or maybe they're still convinced that their imaginary modern audience will magically show up to save the day. Hollywood sure seems to love living in its little bubble, completely disconnected from reality. Anyway, I'll keep you all updated as this unfolds. But I've got a feeling this is just the start of the backlash, and this movie and the studios behind it are in for one hell of a ride. Thanks for watching. Since YouTube has shadow banned our channel, they don't like it when we call out these woke dumpster fires, please hit that like and subscribe buttons to help us fight the algorithm. Every like and subscribe counts. Thanks, and I will see you in the next videos.